The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to have had several questions about this thing that we talked about last week. Uh, if you remember, folks, this was the market in 1987 when we talked on August the 25th. We came down into the solar eclipse on the 23rd. We rallied up into October 2nd. And all I was saying is we had the same configuration when we had the eclipse here on the 29th of April. We rallied into the 5th of May, and then we had to close lower on Friday, which in fact we did, and we opened sharply lower today. Boys and girls, this looks to me like we're going to be setting up for the market to bottom on the 15th of May, which is going to come in, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's going to come in next Sunday on so oh, wait a minute, shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got, we've got a, oh dear, I just realized I have David Paul and Peter Lighty scheduled for Friday, and I promised Peter he would be on, so I'll switch David around a little bit. We have Norm Winsky today. I'd like to have Shane on a little bit on Wednesday for a little bit to talk about this blood moon that's coming up. But all I was doing here, folks, was counting. The, the times in between the aspects, that's all it was, a simple count. Uh, if you want to you make sure, I, th this is basically a combination of hard work, lucky, and coincidence. That's basically what it is. What you want to remember is, folks, Basil Chapman and David White have kept you guys long this market all the way to the top into January. I mean, that I, I was... Two thousand dollars away on that. Uh, didn't you know? I wasn't short that whole way, but I certainly wasn't long. The thing that we've got to remember is we're we're seeing some major stuff happening here uh, in these markets. The bond market, for one, for one thing. You know, we've been quite bearish on bonds for quite a while. We'll get this chart up to uh, take a look at it here. But uh, we're within. Uh, we saw a 134 handle. Uh, we've rallied a couple points. That's mainly a, uh, what do you call it, a flight to quality, I believe. But we're getting very, very close to what I think is going to be a pretty big rally in the bonds and, and also in stocks, too, because Basil talked about it on the show this morning. I was listening to him, and he made a really good case. The, people are saying that this is just like it was in uh, 2000 and, uh, you know, 2009. Boys and girls, I can tell you with 100 and 98% probability, they ain't nothing like that. In 2009, on the 5th of, uh, of March, uh, there were, there were, the only bull in town was me and some other fellow, and I forget who that was. I mean, I, I'll show you that in just a second, but look where we are. I mean, we're, we are lower than we were in 1990, folks. I mean, this is, that's our, you know, the uh, fear index. So this is a uh, uh, well, anyway, let, let's just go. And I, I want to take a minute just to show you that these markets, this is just to be, we're in the beginning of a, of a major bear market here, folks, but we are going to have a hellacious rally here, you know, very, very soon. Let me, let me give you a heads up here uh, just about what it was like in, um, let's get this, I think it's right here. This is the one I want to give you right here. Hold on a second. This is the chart that I posted. I'd just been with uh, TFNN for two years at that time, and we'll get it up here to take a look at it. This was the, the letter that I wrote. This was on the, the, the weekend of the 5th of March. We were making a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern right here. This, this bottom right here, if you take a look at that, that was an exact to within 0.001% of a 61% retracement of the low from August the 9th, 1982. And I said in that letter, I posted it right there, it says, we're going to see the biggest rally we've seen in stock since 1935. In 1935, you know, the bottom was in 32. We rallied a little bit. We came back, and then we had one hell of a rally going into the beginning of World War II. But 
this is the type of thing that you want to be looking. We're not we're not anywhere near like this. There's no panic in the market. The Dow's only down 500 points. I would have expected the Dow to be down 11, 12, 13, 1400 points. We had two 900 point days, and if you multiply it times 1.618, that takes you to around 15 or 1600 down on the day. I thought we would get one of those during this down move, and we might between Mar be here and, and March 15th. I don't know. But I, I think it's a tribute to Tommy and Tommy O'Brien to have all these good folks on here. Steve Rhodes, you know, David White. I'm probably going to miss somebody. Basil Chapman, the two O'Briens. Uh, I don't know some of these other folks, I don't believe. But uh, they, they've got some really good ideas. And I think that, uh, you know, we've got a good group of people in the den that help out quite a bit. So I think it's very, very important. Now, let me share with you. Uh, one of the Elliott Wave people uh, was kind enough to uh, – uh-oh, shut the front door. I don't like this one. This is not good. Yeah, see if we can get it. No, this I've lost this chart. I wanted to show you the example of what this should look like. There's what I want to show you right here. This is I had to put this in here, this yellow line, because it, it lines up perfectly with what we're watching here on the weekly chart. I'll give it to you right now. This is basically an Elliott Wave person sent me all this stuff, which is really nice. I'm not an Elliott Wave person, but I wanted to show you this. Look at the number of times that this has hit these lines right here, folks. I mean, this is very important. And here's where coming in. This number comes in at 4360. Uh, the ABCD on the weekly measures to 40, uh, excuse me, 39. Let's try it again, Larry. 3960 is where it measures to. 3960, 3920 through is. 3923 is the ABCD. That's what we want to pay attention to today. Give me a second here so I can get this up here and you'll be able to see it really clearly, uh, except for the fact that I've got it wrong <laughs> on this chart because I've got to show you the difference. I, I put them both up here, but I'll just show you right where it is. You'll see the difference. You'll see the ABCD. That's what I wanted to show you. And that's what I think is important. Okay, the ABCD measures to uh, right here, folks. All I did was I extended this down to the 382. That's down around 3,700. But I believe, and I, I can tell you this just from gut feeling, okay? You know, we're short in the service that we have. We're short bonds from from 152, 149, 143, and we're still short looking to cover at that 131 level. We got to 134 today. We're short gold from 1925 and 1910 and 1880. Well, no, we didn't do that last one, 1880. We shot two units of gold. We're looking to gold to get down to maybe uh, 18, uh, 1812 to 1776. That's down the road a little bit. The euro, we're short that. That's still going down. We're still short stocks. But, you know, this can all change in a heartbeat. The reason why you got to pay attention, folks, is because this market is coming down very, very quietly without any fanfare. There's no panic anywhere. And that is a good sign for a rally to occur. And when we get it, and when we get it, it's going to be a big one because we've been down. This is the sixth week. I think it's the start of the sixth week. So if we get it through this week, ideally, we could get down into that May the 15th, which is the what they call a blood moon. And uh, we're going to have Shane to come on uh, to talk about it. And also, Norm Winsky will hopefully talk about it a little bit today, too. That's all those R's are lunar cycles, folks. So let's uh, keep that in mind. And we'll move on here. Have a couple more charts to show you when you get back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and I wanted to bring to your attention the price of natural gas. So notice here, I want you to pay attention to this high that we made up here at $9 here on Friday, uh, because I'm going to show you the relationship that we were seeing in gasoline and crude oil today to bring to your attention the fact that this morning all we did was we went exactly to a 382 retracement here at 828, okay? Now, you're not going to believe this, but this move here, was $10,000 to the down move. The rally here was 382, and we've dropped another uh, $8,000 now, folks. We went from 80.28 down to, and the last I saw was 7.4. That was off of a 382 retracement, folks. Folks, that's my forte is short term trading. I'm going to be doing a seminar on the fifth, on 17th of uh, this month. It's going to be, I'm pretty sure it'll. It'll probably be my last one, boys and girls, for a while, because I've got some things in the hopper that are very exciting here uh, at the old Pueblo, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. Uh, continue doing the radio show and doing the 24-7, but I'm cutting back on probably some personal appearances. I will do uh, – I have to go to London, of course, again, and again, Den Denmark will probably be there in September, but I uh, will be backing up a little bit here. I want to get more involved in the trading in the 24-7. And I've had some very positive feedback from some of the students that we've had and some of the people that belong to 24-7 that we've made a lot of money here recently. And that doesn't always happen this way. That I understand. But I want you to see this. You see this one, this big number up here in the, in the natural gas? I made a special video over the weekend. I did one on Saturday just to get everybody ready for it. And then I did another one yesterday about two hours before the market opened to remind everybody. And what I was trying to show them that we had a very, very strong positive correlation to what happened in natural gas on Friday was happening in gasoline. And what it was doing, it was making multiple 1.618 expansions. Now, I don't know if 1.618 is going to stop it or not, but look at this big move we had 
into this, and it stopped it dead in its tracks. I mean, to the penny, it opened a tiny bit higher on Friday, just our, to, on Sunday night, and then the market broke rapidly. We were saying that that was most probably going to happen. Well, that one, you know, that one has a four thousand uh, dollar profit in it. But the one that is even was even better than that is if you take a look at what happened with the crude oil, because crude oil was doing exactly the same thing, only a little bit weaker, which is what you like to see. And if you just take a look at this, there's our fav one of our favorite patterns, the 135, 15 minute, there it is. Sunday night, right there is where it opens, just right there. And you're not gonna believe it where it's trading now, folks. Do you realize it's, it's $7,000 in crude oil in one day? And Basil talked about this. If oil is dropping, wheat is dropping, beans are dropping, corn is dropping, meal is dropping, eggs are dropping, inflation might be getting into a, a little bit of a quagmire here, or at least for a bounce, and that might be the reason for why these things are jumping around the way they are. We don't know that, but n neither does anybody else, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's the main thing to look at. Here's where we were just a little while ago. Uh, right fix someone happened to send me this if you like 3a2s and boy we certainly do here at tfnn you'll see here this is this morning there was there was your original order right here setting right at that 618 when it opened higher that was equivalent to gasoline opening up a little bit and we hit 108 we are now trading at 104 the last i saw and that from that level right there is four thousand dollars. So the the key is if you keep your losses small, you're going to run into some of these darn things. And I think we're able to do that by looking at some of the few things that we are watching here as we go through here. Remember, we have Norm Winsky coming up here in about four minutes, but I got a couple other charts that I, I think are are very very important. And we will have Shane on. He's going to make a cameo appearance for us on the uh, the 50. Uh, excuse me, the on Wednesday, uh, the 11th. Uh, by the way, he is partly the reason why we've had these big moves down is we've been watching what Shane was doing, if you recall, and he was giving some really good heads up that these markets were showing some really bad astrological negativity based on these stelliums that he had done. Now, getting back to what I'd like to do is I want to show you last night, just to just to show you if, if you want to keep it really simple, not worry about astrology, and if you can count to five, and subtract from three to get two or whatever it happens to be. Look at the A, B, C, D we had here in the S, in the Dow Jones last night, folks. That was a that was a 250 point rally in the middle of the night. Perfect A, B, C, D. Look what happened on the way down. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's look at it a little bit farther because these are the things that if you're going to trade short term in these wild markets, you want to be able to to line them up so that you got a pretty good idea. Because nothing ever changes. All they do is repeat over and over. Again again and you'll be able to see another one here we'll be able to look at it this was a combination of what we just looked at there was the ABCD you come down you rally up bada bing bada boom look at this bada bing bada boom you rally up here you'll never guess and where do you go bada bing bada boom down 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 so I think the bottom is going to be this week uh, probably uh, Friday maybe Monday of next week but we're going to have a rally and it's going to be uh, it's going to be one of the ones that you just want to really say, oh, thank God, I'm going to be in for that one. But let me show you one other one that's really going to be exciting, folks. Been talking about this for a long time. I'm going to hurt some people's feelings here. Don't really care because I've been there and done that. This is the cryptocurrency market. John Jameson sold right here, folks. He bought it at 3100 back in 2001. He sold it right there. He went short right here to 382. He is looking for a price of between 20,000 and 13,000. And he is one of the smartest people I've ever met. He writes my newsletter. He has for the past three weeks, uh, past three years. Those of you that know me, uh, he, he's such a, a splendid writer. He's a professional writer, folks. But and he, and he knows the market's really good. But he's thinking somewhere between 20,000 and uh, 12, 13,000 in the Bitcoin. Remember, he's basing this on the price of 100 Bitcoin from 12. 12 years ago. This is not a bubble, folks. I don't care whether you believe it or not about blockchains or bitcoins or cryptos. This is not a bubble. Bubbles don't act like this. Uh, at least none of them ever have in the past. But it's going to offer one of the best buying opportunities that uh, we've had since we did our first show here about a year and a half ago on September uh, of last year, a year ago uh, on the 20th. 
when we recommended buying Cardano at six cents, and with a price objective of 250, it went to uh, 3.1, and now it's trading at 67 cents, and and looks like it's going lower. So we are going to be doing some crypto stuff on the day of the trading day on the 17th of May, and I'll be giving a couple of recommendations. I'm not going to put them in the newsletter. I'm not going to talk about them here. It's going to be for people that are kind enough to support TFNN here, and then we'll have something good for them. We will be following through with it, of course with the folks but uh, I think not everybody likes cryptos and you know or uh, blockchains or whatever the heck you want to call it all I know is uh, this stuff is not acting like a, a bubble by any stretch of the imagination now we got the main man Mr. Norman calls it to the minute Winsky out of Naples, Florida will be our guest here in just a little bit. I did miss a couple of charts that I wanted to cover. Hopefully, I'll get those if we have time from Norm. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back and we're speaking with Mr. Norm Winsky. He calls it to the minute from Naples, Florida. Norm, we have two questions before you start your show. Okay. Thanks okay, for having me on, by the way, Larry. Go ahead. Well, it's a pleasure having you on. And one of the things that someone asked us, someone from the state of Washington, is you were on the show a few years ago, and you mentioned that your your uncle uh, actually worked for NASA and worked with Werner von Braun. And I believe well, that is Well, it's kind of the other way around, Larry. My uncle helped form NASA, 
And and then when they opened their doors on October 1, 1958, he was the director of space flight programs, which was the top technical position in all of NASA. And then he invited Miss, Mr. Von Braun into NASA. Wow. Totally awesome. Well, that's and good. I, I, can't, uh, I can't believe you brought this up because we are weeks away from, as they say, the rocket business igniting <laughs> what do they yeah. say uh, fi uh, firing that uh, candle or something I'm yeah. in the process of uh, producing a movie and we're going into the pre-production here in the next few weeks so anybody oh. interested in that get a hold of me and I'll tell you how you can uh, maybe participate you know well I was a little disturbed that you didn't hire me as one of the top gun pilots you know because I've I used to do that many years when I fought the uh, the Red Baron in World War One yeah. hey Norm the other question wait, wait, I, have this is one this. Said, I just want to wrap that uh, thought up about my uncle okay. Abe Silverstein from Terre Haute Indiana by the way you know right yes sir. And, uh, and I think your mom worked for Silverstein brothers those were cousins you she know? sure did she sure did they used to eat at Louise's restaurant all the time I remember there you go. That would be Arthur, right? Arthur Justin? Yep. Okay. Anyway, so uh, uh, just to, to wrap it all up, uh, Uncle Abe there was uh, in charge of planning the Mercury Gemini Apollo programs. He named Mercury wow. and Apollo, uh, yeah, named Mercury and Apollo, and was in charge of selecting the Mercury 7 astronauts, which is what the movie The Right Stuff is all about. Wow. Totally awesome. And he got, and he got NASA to adopt. Uh, uh, the uh, liquid hydrogen rocket engine, which made it possible to go to the moon, and he told President Kennedy that we could go to the moon by the end of the decade. Gee, you might uh, you might remember those words, huh? July 20, 1969. He did it. Yeah, he sure did. Yep. Oh, there's yeah. also he he was uh, he's he gave Neil Armstrong his first job out of college. Son of a gun. He put, wow. him, put Neil Armstrong on the path to becoming an astronaut. Well, now we know why you're so close to the stars, Norm, that's for sure. Now, we have one other question, and we got plenty of time today, Norm, so you don't have to hurry. The question is comes from our good buddy, Jerome R., up there in Washington, and that is, uh, what is going to be the effect of the blood moon and eclipse that we're going to have on the 15th of May? Do you have any specific feelings about that? Uh, the stock market usually does not like lunar eclipses, mm -hmm. so probably somewhere around there within a day or so. You probably uh -huh. get a big down in the stock market. Okay. Uh, for the rest of the markets, I would just say watch for a change in trend at okay. that, uh, on that Monday. You know, it's early Monday and before the markets open, I believe. And so probably early Monday, so in the first half of Monday or so, you might okay. see some good turns in the markets. Okay. Uh, I'm on here now. I ask you to come on now because we got lots of, you know, several big things happening this week. Why don't I jump into my uh, presentation here now, right? Why don't you please go ahead, and then uh, we'd like to hear from you. So go right ahead. Okay, so I always like to review what I forecasted. The last time I was on, we had six events there. Hopefully everybody can see those on their screen. I recommend taking a screenshot, or you can contact me. I'll be happy to send you my notes. And if you want just an explanation on some of these technical terms, I'll be happy to give you a free class. That's uh, it. I mentioned Larry, and you get uh, double your money back guarantee. All oh, right, it's such all, a deal! Free, free, such free, a deal! Free, but double your money back guarantee. All right, so we had after the close of the twenty second, uh, that was uh, I think that was a weekend, and I was on a, on a Monday, the uh, I think the twenty fifth. Uh, then we had uh, Helio. That's from the point of view of the Sun, Mars entering the sign Aquarius. So we're looking for copper. The last. Uh, when, uh, its cousin, Helio Mars, Geo Mars, I'm sorry, Geo Mars, that's from the point of view of the Earth and Aquarius. That was in early March. I think it was right over the weekend on March 4th. And on Monday the 7th, uh, that's when copper went to over $5. And then that was it. And then it dropped about 50 cents in about three days, which is, you know, that's uh, what is that, uh, about $12,500, you know, right? Wow. So, so, so I was excited to see that, but there's no guarantee that these things work every time, right, Larry? Oh, I know it's shocking. There you <laughs> go. All right, then over that weekend, we also had Jupiter aligning up with the U.S. chart. U.S. charts based on where the planets were back on the 4th of July, 1776, with the help of our founding father, Benjamin Franklin. You know, some people know this, some don't. Mr. Franklin was an astrologer. 
and he was advising Thomas Jefferson when they wrote the uh, Declaration of Independence. He was the author of the Declaration of Independence on when they should start the country and tell good old King George III to go to hell, right? There you go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Next we have the night of the... Oh, we'll be looking reviewing these. Sorry, I'll show you the chart in just a minute. Uh, next we have the night of the 27th. Neptune was to the U.S. chart. And we, anytime we have the U.S. chart, we look at U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we have Mercury, uh, uh, Mercury cycle. And anytime you have Mercury, you have look at the greens. And then we have Pluto turning retrograde. And when the planets, that has to do with the roll of motion of the Earth to the other planets. And it appears, that's the key word here, appears that a planet is stopped its regular motion and is turning to go backwards. That's what Pluto was doing the morning of the 29th. And that's cocoa, coffee, hogs, and tea bonds. And then we have the solar eclipse in Taurus the Bull over the weekend of the 29th. And that we want to look at anytime we have a, that's a special kind of new moon. Anytime you have a new moon or full moon, we round up the usual suspects, financial grange, precious metals. And because it was in Taurus, we're running a special on cattle and cotton. So let's go look at the charts. There's your corn. And there's the moon. Oh, no, here's the moon over here. That was our mercury point there. That was a nice little top there. There was a nice little bottom there on the corn. So those were two. Green is good. Red is bad. So if you see green arrows, that means you had a chance to make some money. If you have red arrows, you probably didn't have a chance to make money. Those are losers. And if we're going sideways, it doesn't get much, much more sideways than that. And I put a little yellow box there where our timing point was. And then we do nothing. to go take a nap or something, you know. All right, here's wheat. Wheat was going sideways on our mercury point there. So we do nothing but down here. Look at that. The low of the month, right on these, right after the Monday, following the solar eclipse. Here's cattle. We had the a solar eclipse in Taurus the uh, <laughs> Taurus the bull, and you might guess that's cattle, and that's uh, how I see it. And that you're buying right off the bottom there on Monday the after the uh, Monday the second, yeah, Monday May two, right after the solar eclipse. There's cotton had a nice little pullback low there on the solar eclipse and here's your cocoa again the more rules are we're looking for the markets about 70 75 percent of the time to reverse on these points and we're looking for extremes we want to see the market going up or going down into our timing window there we go there's cocoa cocoa didn't care i just kept going so that's this i guess we'll be back in a few minutes after we, we will nice, nice question Going to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Tens. If we please continue, Norman. Yeah, thank you, Larry. So when we uh, jumped off there for our break, uh, we're talking about talking about we uh, Coco, uh, looking at the Pluto retrograde the morning of the 29th. Coco didn't care; just kept going, so that's a miss. Hogs were going sideways into that window, and so we did nothing there in hogs. And here's copper. No, no, that's not. What is that? Uh oh, I did. Oh, that's. That's coffee. I didn't put a, sorry, I didn't put a label on that. You can see up there in the little label there. That's KC is coffee. And we did get a uh, chance to buy a little uh, one day pop there near that. Uh, there's your uh, 29 a.m. And you were with a day of that low there. And you did get a one day uh, pop there. So you had a chance to make a little bit of money. Copper just kept going. So that's a miss. Here's silver on the moon. And you made a little bit of a low there. Here's gold. Uh, very unusual that gold and silver are, do, are do, kind of doing the opposite. Silver making a low. Gold popped up to make a little bit of a top there on the moon. And here's your S&P over here. We didn't, didn't like the pa I didn't like one of my rules is you don't chase. You know, we we're just making a top there. The day before, if we we're in a day of a high, you don't want to be buying the next day usually, especially if you don't have a good entry. So you're right on the lows of the previous bar. So on those two points, I took a pass. Uh, here we have the, you're right on the lows here. So you can buy and then you rallied up to make a high there with those two points uh, for a high, I'm sorry, make a high there with those two points. And then we went down to the solar eclipse to make a very nice low. That was the low for that whole period of time. Oh, that's uh, and that's, that was last week. That was the low for the entire week. We went down and retested that. And held, but now obviously we have taken that out, and I'll be telling you in a few minutes, minute or two, what's happening there for tonight and tomorrow. <clears throat> Here's T bonds, one, uh, made a little pop high here, and then went down into the moon and made a little bit of a short term low. And here's your dollar is, uh, on a US point there, made a bit of a high, and then a low there. You have a chance to make some small money there. <clears throat> the currencies often dance to the moon. And here is the Aussie dollar making a low right on the solar eclipse. Here's the British pound popped up into the solar eclipse. Here's the Canadian dollar making a low on the solar eclipse. And here's your euro made a little bit of a one-day high, one- to two-day high on the solar eclipse. Here's the Japanese yen made a little bit of a short-term top there on the solar eclipse. So you had, <coughs> excuse me, you had 21 out of 24 winning signals. For 84.50 percent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now here's my version of the Bradley model. I do these several weeks ahead of time, 
a couple of, a week or two ahead of when the letter goes out. I do the letter my letter monthly, and you can see here's the blue line here I forecasted for the month of April. I started April on March the 28th, and it ran through April 29th. And you can see there was the forecast as the blue line, and then at the end of the month I overlay the black bars of the S&P 10 minute bar charts, so you can see what the correlation is there. Not not too bad. And then we're going to move ahead here. Here's what's coming up. <clears throat> so, excuse me, I got a little bit of a thing in my throat there. So tonight, that's AC after the close. Mercury in Gemini will be turning to retrograde. We got some big downness today in many of these markets. And Mercury is primarily your grains, but it's also stock market responds to everything. So just assume that the stock market and you get to have a big down into Mercury retrograde, there's a good chance that we'll get a reversal tomorrow. Okay, so uh, we're getting a, kind of a setup here for especially the stock market, which was down last week. It's getting a bit oversold. And I think there's a good chance if we're down on the close near the close of the day, down near the lows, that we'll reverse tomorrow. So, okay, and we have a here's a point uh, Jupiter to the Uranus, and that would be uh, because the Uranus is the Tar Sabol, you got cattle, and then you got copper is Uranus, and cotton is Taurus, and we don't care about oats. I should take that off, and I'll just uh, delete that now. Forget that I had, had oats on there because nobody trades oats except for two horses in Wyoming. So there we go. Now the 12th, <laughs> after the close, Saturn is lighting up with the U.S. moon, and that's the U.S. It means it's U.S. stock, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then the night of the 13th, we have the moon to the U.S. chart again. U.S. stock, T-bonds, U.S. dollar, and uh, the Venus apihelion, that's a, a helio. Appa means from afar, that's the farthest point for Venus, is 225-day cycle, and Venus is cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, wheat. And then we have the night, oh, that's uh, over the week. <laughs> this is the weekend. We got a big cluster over the weekend, all 13s, four points. And then we have moon to the U.S. chart for U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And because it's to Neptune, that's oil. And then we have a full moon, lunar eclipse, which I think you uh, asked, uh, mentioned earlier. And anytime we have that, we round up the usual suspects, financials, grains, precious metals, cocoa, hogs, and T-bonds. And that's my forecasting points for the coming week. And I've been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry. I started right out of college here, Indiana State University in Terre Haute. Hopped a bottle membership in 1975 on the CBOH, Cardboard Options Exchange. And that started my uh, professional career. I was also investing in college. and <clears throat> did well enough to buy that seat. And I was there 12 years and also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade. So I had a little bit, I got a little bit of experience, a few years under my belt there. So looking forward to helping some of the folks. You can contact me. I got free classes, and uh, I'll be happy to help you. And you can contact me. Contact me right away because I get busy toward the end of the month. <clears throat> I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. Or you can email me at anwinski at embarkemail.com or call, call me on Skype at N-W-I-N-S-K-I underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks, Larry. Be happy to, Norm. I have a question, personal favor. Would you send me that uh, picture of the Bradley? Because I, I didn't get to see that, and I'd like to have a copy of it, if you don't mind. Just uh, Larry okay, I'll be happy to do that. But just so you know, you get my letter, my email, and my uh, and my nightly emails, and that's in the, in the emails every night, updated, and uh, it's also in the, in, the, in the letter. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I will, and I have it. So thank okay. you very much. I appreciate it. That'll be yes, good. Yes, sir. Any questions from the Tiger Den? I think we're doing okay today. You certainly had a good, interesting part about your uncle. You know, I okay. it was uh, really exciting. Uh, I can remember those times well, in old Terre Haute, Indiana. <laughs> I'll tell you a great story about uh, President Kennedy. Nope. You know, Kennedy, Kennedy and Johnson came in the office. Uh -huh. And uh, Kennedy didn't really uh, have a clue about the space program. Johnson was a big space advocate, you know. And mm -hmm. he got concerned from his friends in Congress there that uh, they said, we don't know if we'll be able to get funding through uh, Congress for the space program. 
So he went to President Kennedy and said, uh, my friends in Congress say we, we, they might be, uh, we might have a problem getting funding through Congress for the space program. Uh, we need to do something to capture the imagination. Oh, are we done? Or are we coming back? No, stay with us. We got a couple more minutes. We want to hear the okay. end of this story. Please do. Walt Disney okay. is in his heyday. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, we're back, folks, and we are talking with Norm Winsky of... Uh Astro Trends, and he's telling us about President Kennedy and the funding of the space program, so please continue. Right. Vice President Johnson became concerned about uh, getting funding through Congress. He went to President Kennedy and said, uh, told him that, and that we should do something to capture the imagination of the American public to assure that we could get funding through Congress. Kennedy said, okay, go see what you can do. So Johnson went to John in the, in the uh, uh, organizational chart there. The Vice President is directly over the NASA Administrator who's the top guy in NASA. So he went to James Webb, he was the NASA administrator, and, and they, he said, told them what, what their concerns were about funding, funding the Congress, and they needed to do something to capture the imagination of the American public. Webb said, okay, I'll go talk to my guys and see what what, what they can do. And so, uh, as my uncle told the story over lunch one day, I couldn't believe it, because my uncle was a humble guy, and hardly ever talked about his work. This is what, and now when he's like, he's in his 80s, you know? And he started to open up a little bit toward the end of his life. <laughs> and he tells us a story about how Webb makes a surprise visit to his office. And he says, uh, uh, you know, tells him about uh, Johnson and Kennedy and their concern about getting funding to Congress. What could you guys do to capture the imagination of the American public? My uncle was an engineer type personality. He didn't get excited much about too much of anything. And he says, uh, uh, well, we could go to the moon. Just like that, and Whip says, "How long? 
my uncle says, uh, Abe says, uh, uh, well, we uh, did some calculation over a minute. He says, uh, well, we could do that by the end of the decade. Bob says, okay, write it up, send me a report. So wow. uh, he, he said over an old typewriter over their lunch hour, they typed up the report, sent it to Webb, Webb against Johnson, and Johnson gave it to Kennedy four days later. Kennedy went before a joint session of Congress, national TV, and said, and by the end of the decade, we shall go to the moon. Son of a gun. That's really exciting, Norm, to be part of that. That was really great, buddy. Hey, thank you very much, and we'll have you on. Hey, Norm, how about coming on a a week from today, if we could, because that's a day after that 15th, and we could talk about what happened. Could we do that? Uh, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Think about it. You'll you'll get it. Of course, you get double time for the month of May doing two sessions. But uh, if you can do it, let us know, because I'd like to see how these things worked out, especially with that blood moon thing, if we could. Well, you really need to be, uh, to see the results, you probably need to give the moon a uh, whole day there on Monday the 16th, you know. Maybe, maybe, okay, I, maybe, well, you I'll, think, come on, maybe I'll come on the next week, you know, so I have a chance to review everything oh, okay. and, and, and forecast uh, what's coming up at the end of the month. That's That sounds great. Listen, thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls.